Hello and welcome to Reconvert. Reconvert is an app that allows you to easily and comfortably edit your thank you page with a drag and drop interface. With Reconvert, you can turn your thank you page into a conversion machine. The thank you page doesn't have to be the last stop of a customer in your store. It could be just the beginning of a wonderful relationship with a repeating customer. This is the reconvert onboarding video. In this video, we will take you through the app, the first installation steps and how to create your first thank you page template. Once you've completed this video, you will have a general idea of how to work with the app and can move on to the rest of our training videos detailing how exactly each widget in the app works. So let's get started. When you first log into the app, right after installing it, this is the page you will see. You have not created any templates yet, so the dashboard does not appear quite yet. So the first step we have to take is to create a new template. You can either use an existing template by exploring our free templates. These templates just give you something to start with and you can change them and do with them whatever you want. We're going to choose the other option of creating a new blank template. Let's create our very first template. Once we've created the first thank you page template, we are automatically redirected to this page. This is the page builder. The page builder might seem very familiar to you. And that is because we made sure to keep as close as possible to Shopify's design so that the use of the app is as comfortable and intuitive as possible for you. So let's go through what the page builder contains. First of all, we can see the actual thank you page. This also might seem very familiar to you because this is how Shopify's thank you page looks. It is divided into two sections, the right section, which contains the order and payment summary, and the left section, which contains some of the shipping information and a general customer information. At the top of the page, we have the save button, which is currently grayed out because we haven't made any changes. And we have the option to change the layout from desktop to mobile. At the left side, we can also see the template's name and also an arrow back to the app's dashboard and to the store. Most of our work in the page builder will be done from the left section, which is our main menu. The left panel menu is divided into sections and general settings. In the sections, we have the three main sections of the page. We have the header, left area and right area. In each of these, we can actually insert widgets and new features that we are constantly adding into the app. In the header section, we can control the header of the page, which by default in the Shopify thank you page does not exist. You can choose whatever to display a header or not, whatever to have a navigation menu in there, a logo, etc. In the left area section, we control everything that appears in the left area of the page. We can add and remove sections and widgets, and we can also use a simple drag and drop to move the sections around on the page. Let's give a quick demonstration. We can add a section here, let's say text. And once we've added the section and edited as much as we wanted, we can see that the text is right now here. And with these six dots, we can move it around the page and decide exactly where to place it. I am not going to get into the different widgets available and exactly what sort of settings you can edit in each one because we have a separate video for each widget where you can learn more. If we've decided we don't want the widget to be in the thank you page anymore, all we have to do is remove this section. And lastly, the right area is pretty much the same as the left one, except it controls the right section of the page. Here we can add and remove widgets to the right section of the page, move them around and play with how it looks. Let's give a demonstration here, this time using image with text. We've created a widget and now we can move it around in the section, much like we did in the left section, except we don't have any other widgets here, so it's the only one for now. Let's remove this one as well. In the general settings tab, we can control general settings for the page that are not specific to either the header, the right or the left area. These are settings that are not widgets that we can move around and play with. Again, I'm not going to explain about each of these settings because there is a separate video for each setting. Now let's go back to the dashboard and see what it looks like after we've created our first template. 
As you can tell, when getting back to the main page of the app, it looks a little different than the one we just left. Let's review this page from top to bottom to see what we can do with it. At the top of the page, at the right corner, we have our main menu of the app. This menu contains four main links. First one is Dashboard. Dashboard is the page that we are in now. It is basically the main page of the app. And no matter what page you are in, you can get back to it by clicking Dashboard. The second link is Data. Some of the widgets in reconvert collect customer data. In the pages under data, you can view the information that the app collected for you. Each of these pages connects to a widget in the app. We're not going to review these pages now because we will go through them in a dedicated video for each of these widgets. But generally, we have birthdays, comments, and survey answers. The third link is settings. Under settings, we can see and control all of the integrations that reconvert offers with other apps. We currently integrate with MailChimp and Klaviyo, the email autoresponders, but we're constantly adding new integrations. If you have any integration that you want to add, please just let us know and we'll make sure to add it ASAP. And the fourth link is the help and frequently asked questions. In this page, you can access our app's documentation, the frequently asked questions, and some help videos. And if you need any more help, the live chat option is always available in any page in the app. Let's go back to the dashboard. Right below our main menu, we have the option of creating a new template, which is what we've just done. Right under that, we can see the currently active template. That means this is the thank you page template that your customers are currently seeing when they complete a purchase. You can see a preview of this template. Right now it's pretty blank because we haven't added any widgets to it. You can see when the latest change was made and the name of the template. In here, you can take a few actions on this template. You can preview it. You can rename it. Let's rename it right now. As you can see, the name just changed. We can duplicate it. When duplicating a template, you are essentially creating a new template that is identical to the one you've created it from. You're directly taken to the page builder. But as you can see, the name of the template is my first template, copy. So this is a different template than the one we've just created. We can do all of the changes we want to it and it will not affect the original template. We're back in the dashboard and we can see that the active template is still my first template. The copy that we've just created is right down here, but we'll get to this section in a minute. The last action we can do on the active template is view report. View report takes us to the analytics report of this template, but we will have a dedicated video talking about the app's analytics, so we will not get into it right now. Let's go back to the dashboard. The last thing we can do on the active template is customize it. When we click customize, it will take us back to the page builder. In the page builder, you can tell that you are working on a live template right now. None of the changes you make go live. They are automatically saved, but they will not go live for the customers until you click the save button. This is something that's very important to note because you don't want to make changes and publish them when they are half done. Back in the dashboard, let's go down a little bit and here you can see the more templates section. In this section, you can view all of the templates that you have that are not live. The only draft template that we have right now is my first template copy. And we can make changes into each of these drafts without affecting any of our customers. Again, we can customize it, which will take us back to the thank you page builder. We can preview it just like we did the live template. We can publish it, which will make it go live and put the current live template into the draft section. Let's do that.
There you go. As you can see, the copy of my first template is now live and my first template is a draft. What other things can we do for our drafts? We can rename it just like we did the main template. We can duplicate it again, just like we did the main template. We can delete it or remove it, which we cannot do for a live template. If you want to delete the template that is currently live, you will have to first demote it to draft. And we can view report which again, we just did for the live template. Let's remove the draft. And now you have no drafts in your store. To add a new draft, you can either duplicate this template like we did before, or you can explore one of our free templates. You can choose an existing template or you can choose a blank one. Let's choose a blank one. And we've created an empty template here. Let's go back to the store. And as you can see, we've got a new draft here, an empty template that we can do whatever we want with. The last section of the dashboard is some basic analytics that you can see right from the get-go. The difference between these analytics and the ones you can see per each template is that these analytics contain analytics for all of the app, all of the templates that were ever active. But we're not going to review the analytics now. Like I said, we will have a dedicated video for it. And if you want to learn more about the analytics and how we collect them, check out the video dedicated to it. Lastly, we ask you to rate our app if you like and enjoyed it. It helps us a lot to reach new merchants who want to improve the retention and conversion rates. This was the reconvert onboarding video. I hope it was helpful and I invite you to check out the rest of our help videos in our help section. They contain information about specific widgets and how to use them. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us and our lovely support team would be happy to help. Have a great day and have fun improving your conversion and retention rates.